Now Knack to go the other way for Brooks. Put one up the right side, missing Austin Wright. He'll chase it down the right side of the net, try to center one to Nactigal, but it went off a Canmore defender's stick. And the Eagles will try to dig this free in their own end. Clearance stopped by Milan. Shoots, that's off a stick. Bounces into the net, and the Bandits score again to make it 2 0. Got it up the left wing for a speeding in Austin Wright. Dangles around a defender. He's got a breakaway, and a diving shot is stopped by Verosti. Carrier, no call on that. Crowd's not happy, but we're going to continue to play here, and the Eagles have the puck. Olsen carries him, trying to center it, comes to the left side of the net, and a backhand shot. The Eagles have scored to pull within one goal. Tough to see who it was at the left side of the net, but off a deflection in the slot, it came to the left side of the cage, and able to jam it in was Lane Olsen. Long outlet feet up the right wing side, slipping behind the defense. McCrory in along the right wing to the circle. Backhand to it in front. Lodermeyer's one-timer went wide Back left. out to neutral. Eagles the other way, bank it off the left boards and in deep as right dumps Hildebrand after that dump and he the carry in by Soretsky. Shoots from the high slot, blocked, and then came back in front. A sprawling save by Davies, and then he has to cover that rebound up at the side of the net. Off the far Where side, Paul's again couldn't clear. McKechnie left circle, turnaround shot off the post! Across the mid-blue line for Adamu Tanaka, then fed right circle where Marchand got a stick in the way. And now the Bandits the other way shorthanded. They did have four shorthanded goals in the preseason. Malat drives into the left corner, centers Aisman, scores! Logan Aisman on a net front tip off a beautiful setup by Jeff Millard, who has two points in the first game of the season. A shorthanded goal for Brooks, just 20 seconds. Right. Here now behind the eight ball once more. is a big hit from behind on Cockrell by Bickham is going to cause a bit of a scrum at the far boards, and he is going to be called for a penalty on that one. Cockrell turned to play the puck as we get lots of pushing and shoving in front of the Canmore net here. Perkusik's tied up with an eagle. Pauls is throwing some gloves on punches. Cockrell's trying to help his teammate, but he's being held on to by March. away at it. The Eagles came away with it, and then a spinning backhand centering pass went through the crease. No one there for it. Lavoie's shot from the left half boards was saved. Another try. He rang the near post with the shot. Right That's wing for a long feed by Carl. Came to Perkusik and now springing Falanga. Breakaway. Falanga shoots. What a save by Verostik as he got the right pad out. Bandits win the draw and Aisman's clear. Glove down. Oh, was Mumby ever closing his hand on the puck there at the red that line? Out. Mumby kept it in left point. Spun it around back of the net. Bear gives chase at the far boards. Can't knife it out of the zone. Stopped by the skate of a Canmore four-checker. Four players dig away at it, and then a weak clear by Perkusik doesn't come out. Then chip free by Malat. He'll have a one-on-one shorthanded here. Malat for his third point of the night. Shoots. Scores! Jeff Malat with an absolute rocket from the left circle. Top shelf. Beats Hunter Verostik has three points on the night. A second shorthanded goal for the Bandits has given... McCrory him. carries in right wing for the Bandits. Drop back to an open Perkusik. Shooting and a right pad saved by Verostik. Rebound Perkusik is robbed again. Ursulak. Now fed middle Kuzino. The defenseman leads the rush. Carries it and shoots. It's blocked. Rebound. Ursulak shoots. Save. And the rebound. Nactical shot was off his stick. Rush. Lane Olsen carries in left wing. Trying to dangle around Kale McCarr, but... That is not an easy thing to do. McCarr stayed with him the whole way. Then he knocks down Olsen in behind the Bandit net. And now it's Pereira the other way for the Bandits. Four on three on the rush here. Penalty coming up to Canmore. They took a dumb penalty after they hit by McCarr. And they're going to go down two men. Top left circle to Bear. Left side of the net. Cockrell put it back door. And McKechnie went off the heel of his stick on the one-timer. And wide right. Now Perkusik right circle. Fires one. Scores! Nick Perkusik rings the far post with the shot. is there for the Bandits. Then fed high slot. And Bear rings the post with the shot. Right put it right point to Makar, back to right, right half boards. Top right circle, right put it side of the net. Lodermeyer backhanded it back door, and McCrory scores! 6-1 Bandits off a nifty little spin around setup by Derek Lodermeyer. He finds McCrory back door for his second of the night. 219 left on the penalty, so the Bandits will get another power play out of this. 95 more zone, got it left point Aisman with 15 seconds to go in the period. Tucks it down the dash. Her right got pinned there. McCrory's got it. Spins to the left circle. McCrory trying to dangle to the slot. Fed it side of the net. Right with a backhander. He scores! Austin Wright from the left side of the net has given the Bandits a seven spot with another power play goal. 6.8 seconds showing on the second period clock. And the Bandits have a six goal lead. And, and, and Kale McCarr holds on to it. Now outlets one up the left side for the aforementioned Jeff Mallott. He'll carry over the Canmore line left wing. He got around Bickham. Cuts in front. Backhander. Scores! Hat trick for Jeff Mallott in game one of the season. After six goals in all of last year, he has three of them tonight. 
four points in the opening game, and the Bandits have made it eight to one. Here come the Bandits. Malad at center ice, chips one ahead, took a bump. It still comes to McKechnie carrying in. That side of the net, McCrory shoots, he scores! Yeah, it looks like uh, that was Cockrell, actually. It looked like... Uh, Jared Cockrell from <laughs> the right side of the net on an impossible angle shot. Scores, and I barely even noticed that puck goes top shelf, short side like on... Like they have, and get out of here, take the two points, and get on that bus, get rested up, and ready for home tomorrow. Gordon's long shot tipped into the back of the net by Brent Radford, and Canmore has pulled the deficit to a slightly more manageable seven. Oh. Looking for a nice little... Uh, obstruction front, now a two-on-one bandits. Nactical carries in with Gorley. Nactical right circle in front to Gorley. He scores! Another shorthanded goal for the bandits. Jared Gorley on a bouncing puck on the pass across from Kyler Nactical has made it 10-2 in favor of Brooks. The route, if it wasn't already, is officially on. Yeah, McKechnie got it left wing. Cockrell into the circle, back in front, and he just missed McKechnie, who would have been there back door to make it 11 goals. Here's McKechnie, still with possession, mid-blue line. Put it left side. Carl shoots through his screen. Scores! Taylor Carl with a sharp angle try from the top of the left circle. Ursulak was in front, may have tipped it in for his first. But either way, the Brooks Bandits have 11 goals. Like in no minute 52 to go in the third. 11-2 Brooks the score. Here's number 11 for the Eagles. Perkusik's going to drop the gloves and get into a fight here with Jonas Gordon. Two right by Gordon. Then Perkusik comes over top of the big right uppercut and right hook. Then getting a chokehold in on him is the Eagle player who just tackled Perkusik down to the ice knowing he's in way over his head after taking those two shots from the right hand of Nick Perkusik. Jonas, three seconds to go, taken away by the Eagles behind the net, but time will expire, and the Brooks Bandits are...